First Alert Forecast, powered by Northeast Factory Direct. Great furniture, amazing prices. As we've been reporting, the 19 First Alert weather team has issued 19 First Alert days from today through Monday. More severe storms are possible. We're joined by meteorologist Erica Page. And Erica, beautiful out there. A lot of people enjoying Edgewater Beach today. Yeah. But how's the rest of the weekend looking? Yeah, so we still have that opportunity to see some storms. But kind of like today, you'll have plenty of time to get outside and enjoy some of the sunshine. So don't let that deter you from necessarily any of those outdoor plants as we take that live look from Edgewater Beach. I mean, we've got boaters in the water. We've got a lot of folks that headed out to the beach just to enjoy some of those nice warm temperatures that we had on hand today. But we are still eyeing a couple of days where storms may have an impact on some of those outdoor plants. Let's start with tomorrow. Tomorrow it's a mainly dry day. We've been stressing this since yesterday that we knew most of the day is actually going to be pretty quiet, but don't let that fool you. There is a chance that we're going to see that storm and a line of storms coming in from the west after we get closer to about five, six o'clock in the evening. That will be a more widespread opportunity for storms. It's a line. We'll show you that here in just a moment, but once it clears, it kind of just opens up the door for us to see these scattered showers and storms as we go through your Memorial Day. It's not to say it's a complete washout. I think we'll get a round of rain first thing in the morning, clear out a little bit and then just get some of those afternoon pop up shower and thunderstorms basically all across Northeast Ohio and we'll have to watch as a few of those could be on the strong to severe side. As we've stressed all weekend long because it is a holiday weekend, folks are out and about probably not necessarily staying totally in tune with what's going on with the weather, making sure you have a reputable 19 first alert weather app or any other type of app that's going to give you some of those alerts is a really great way to make sure you're staying on top of what's going on here as this pattern stays pretty active through the rest of the holiday weekend. There's that cold front. It's what sparked a few hit or miss showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Not everybody has seen that activity. In fact, the farther west you are, the more you're still under the effect of that high pressure system, which is what's clearing out the clouds and basically giving us a lot more of that sunshine. But for now, we're starting to clear things out. Thicker cloud cover storms starting to exit to the east. So yes, where we had a little bit of rain, say out towards Trumbull and Mahoning counties, you're really starting to see that clear out very quickly. And that's good news for you if you have any of those evening plans. Temperature Temperatures for most up towards 80 degrees, a little cooler where we've had some of that rain move through. You'll notice the Youngstown area low 70s. Otherwise, the rest of your evening pretty much staying quiet. I really think that as that front continues to push in, it's going to leave us with a very quiet and dry evening. So make some plans to get outside, have dinner outdoors, whatever the case may be. You're going to have a great forecast here for us over the next few hours. Temperatures falling out of the 80s into the upper 60s by about 10 o'clock and then overnight tonight, pretty quiet. So if you're traveling later this evening, maybe for some of those other extended holiday plans, everything is good to go. You may run into a little patchy fog early Sunday, but that would be about the extent of it. We'll watch for those storms after 5 p.m. tomorrow and then again that alert day because we'll have scattered in storms around the area and the potential that it's going to be a little windier as well. This is that higher severe chance down to our southwest, but you'll notice parts of our area still clipped by that level one out of five risk. All that says is that it's an isolated risk for severe storms, but we can't completely rule out that severe threat as we wait for that line to eventually roll in. And it's something we'll have to watch through the day tomorrow, seeing how well that complex holds together as it approaches Northeast Ohio. But this has been pretty consistent. After 5 p.m., you get that decent line of storms rolling through, and it's likely going to hold together decently well just because temperatures have been at this point upper 70s, low to mid 80s, and you can see that those storms may have a little bit of a punch central zones by about seven and then out towards the east by about nine o'clock tomorrow night. So please make sure you're staying alerted. We're going to have the team here covering you, uh, making sure you have all the information that you need to know. Otherwise, a little bit more hit or miss activity Tuesday into Wednesday as temperatures cool off, but trending much drier as we wrap up the next work week. Leah.